Sports Radio 94 WIP. Tom Kelly in for Joe Giglio today alongside Hugh Douglas on the Midday Show. Good morning, Hugh. Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Philly. Hey, listen, it's going to be hot today. So make sure you get that two to three clothes change in like today because it's too hot to be wearing the same thing all day long. Man. I'll tell you what, Hugh. I can't take this weather. I mean, it is just brutal out there. It's muggy. You're sweating all the time. That's a that's a great daily Douglas today. You need you need to take a change of clothes with you wherever you go. You do, or need, at least another shirt. Because I was out there yesterday with my son. We were uh, <clears throat> going around the track, and boy, the level of like heat it's like hot, man. And it, it it don't take long to get all you know lathered up. Not at all. Yeah, yeah. It's it, it's nasty heat out there. It's like you're not even able to able to walk around without without getting drenched, and you need to. You know, you need to bring a change of clothes. What do they call that? That wicking, that wicking uh, stuff. You need that that light material, that 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 dry fit stuff, that, right? That helps you, like when you sweat, it it, it gets you dry. Because if you're wearing cotton out there, boy, that's a that's a recipe for disaster. And it's not even the temperature; it's the humidity. Yeah, it's hot around this time. That it's is just hot. brutal. So uh, a lot of stuff for us to get into throughout the course of the show today. But where we'll start, Hugh, is with the Phils. Phils drop two of three. In Atlanta this weekend, and hey, I mean, they still lead by eight games in the division as the Dodgers come into town. Big series starting tomorrow night uh, with the Dodgers at CBP. So no reason to panic. This team is still in a good spot. Um, but my biggest observation from this series and, and the Cubs series here, and what concerns me, and, and that that's where we'll start today, is as we look to the second half of the season as we're a little past the midway point, what's your biggest concern? Mine is this pitching staff, Hugh, because I look at this situation right now, and I mean, the Phillies have had a lot of guys pitching way over their heads the first half of the mm-hmm. year. They're regressing a Shout little out bit. to the pitching staff going, all oh, those guys going to the, uh, the All-Star game. All-Star game, yeah. I was about to say the World Series, but maybe I'm speaking it into existence. N- yeah, Maybe you are. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, you have Zach Wheeler, Ranger Suarez, uh, Matt Strom, and Jeff Hoffman all going to the All-Star game. But I look at this thing, Hugh, and my biggest concern with this team right now is is the pitchers regressing? We saw Ranger have a couple bad starts. We saw Christopher Sanchez have a bad start. Strom specifically has been a little less reliable over the last couple weeks. That would be my biggest concern is this pitching staff regressing in the second half. What is your biggest concern as we move forward and, and looking at what we've seen over the last week? I would, here? I would say I, I'm always on the on the um, in the camp of bolstering the pitch, and I think I've been on that since day one. But as far as Ranger's concerned, now now follow me for a minute, Tom, because. Ranger, Ranger's life has changed a little bit since his wife and his kids come to town. And mm-hmm. anybody that has a young family knows exactly what I'm talking about. If you are the guy that, you know, you go out and you you, you set up shop wherever you're going or wherever you, you, you're working and you're there by yourself, it's a little bit of an adjustment when the wife and the kids come back. And and I know that people might think I'm crazy for saying this, but there, I think there's a direct correlation between how he's been pitching and his wife and kids being back. And I'm not saying that that's a bad thing, but think about it. The day that his wife and kids came, I think he pitched lights out. He had a he had a hell of a game. I, I can't remember the exact day when she came, but I remember watching it on television and they talked about the fact that she's in town now and it's the first time he's seen them in a long time. Now they're here. I think that there's a little bit of an adjustment period that goes along with that. You know, spending time with your kids, spending time with your wife, and it's kind of hard to stay locked into that. I think he'll be fine. But to your point, yeah, there's they're probably going to pitch back to the mean, but I'm not that concerned about it as you are. Uh, so what would be your biggest concern be as we look ahead to the second half here? I would say health. The biggest thing would be health. That's that's with any team that's in the situation that they're in. You look at the way that they've been playing and, and the fact that the pitching has been carrying them this far. The thing that kind of concerns me is the fact that you got these injuries and you had injuries to three of your biggest bats. And that going into this weekend, I think when you look at the outcome of this weekend and the way that they play, not bad for missing JT, Schwarbel, and Bryce Harper. I don't I don't think that was a bad outing at all. No. And I'm, you fought toe to toe. It felt like a like from Friday night on, well, not yesterday so much. But it felt like a heavyweight fight. Yeah, and you get one of three, and that's really the biggest thing here, is as long as you basically don't go to Atlanta and get swept, you're still in a good spot. you still got an eight-game lead in the division. But want to know what your biggest concern is as we look toward the second half of the Phillies. And if you want to get in, 215-592-9494 is how you join the show. And as I said, for me, it's the pitching staff regressing. And, and honestly, I don't think it's a question. Like, they're going to regress here. Because you look at what this staff has done in the first half – 
I think expecting this type of performance to continue is unrealistic. And this is why I feel this way. You look at where the Phillies rank in the National League. They lead in pretty much every major category when it comes to pitching. They're first in the RA. They're first in walks, hits, innings pitched. Um, they're first in strikeouts, walks allowed. They've allowed the least walks in the league. They've allowed the least home runs in the league. They have the most complete games. They're second in hits allowed, third in innings pitch. Like, these are ridiculous numbers that they put up here. And this staff is really good. I don't think they're going to fall off completely. I just think expecting them to stay really anywhere close to this is unrealistic. No, but I think that they're they're closer to what they've been then they're not, if you understand where I'm coming from yeah. from that. Now, again, I know you, you talk about Ranger and, and, and guys like that, but you you are in a good spot as far as I'm concerned with what you've had so far, and now you get the little bit of rest. I think the biggest thing that the Phillies needed right now, they need to just get rest. They can't wait for this all-star break to get here so they can just get a little bit of rest, get some guys healthy. And then I think the second half of the season, that's when your hitting is going to kind of take over for you a little bit. Yeah, definitely. And the break's coming at a great time for them. No question about that. When you look at the fact, hey, JT's been out. I guess at this point, he's probably not going to be back before the break. Schwarber, it, it seems like he's coming along. She'll be back tomorrow night. And Bryce is kind of up in the air in regards to whether he comes back before the break or not. Um, but your biggest concern with the Phillies as we look forward here, 215-592-9494. And again, for me, And I know it sounds crazy with how great the pitching has been, but it's the pitching, and it's the pitching falling back. And this is where I'm at. Like, you look at the All-Stars, and four pitchers, probably should have been five with Christopher Sanchez. I think he should have gotten in. Mm -hmm. Tough NL class, though. But aside from Wheeler, this year, for all of those guys, this year's the exception. I love Ranger. He's never been this. Like, Hoffman and Strom, they don't have track records to suggest that this is what they'll be for the entirety of the season. Strom the last couple weeks has not been as good. Rangers' last two starts have been troubling. Christopher Sanchez had a bad start his last time out. And again, like I don't think they're going to fall apart by any means. I don't think they're going to become a bad rotation or a bad staff. But we, in large part, I think, have been spoiled by the pitchers in the first half of the year mm, performing at, at an incredible clip. And I just think think expecting that to continue would be a mistake. Definitely. I, I, I hear what you're saying. And, and the pitching has carried the day. But I think this is just the ebb and flow of baseball. You know, when, you, when you've been out there and you've been pitching the way that Rangers has been pitching, you're going to have a couple clunkers. And unfortunately for him, he's had, he's had two back-to-back ones. But I don't think that that is any reason to be concerned about what he's going to bring to the table because I think he's still a solid pitcher. And as far as Taiwan Walker and those other guys are concerned, you're going to need those guys, man. I know we talk about them a lot and talk about the fact that Taiwan, you know, kind of forced his way back into the rotation and all all this other stuff. But I think down the stretch, like these little ebbs and flows that you have in the season, they're going to have, they're going to be bumps road. Even the best pitchers have days like this every now and again. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. I want to know from you to start the show here. Your biggest concern for the Phils, we head toward the stretch run after the All-Star break. This is really the midway point in the season. What's your biggest concern with the Phillies? For me, it's the pitching staff regressing. I think it's just natural that that's going to happen with a lot of these guys pitching as over their head as they have to this point. Your biggest concern for Hugh, it's, it's health. That this team just needs to stay healthy. Um, for me, it's the pitching staff.